y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at the Metalux collection that's available right now from Lachette Nails. These are available in like beauty retail stores. You may be able to contact them and see who your closest retailer is. They are also available on Trans Design right now. They were sent to me for review and I'll link all of their social media and storefronts down below. First, I wanna give you a look at the packaging. It does have gorgeous holographic packaging. In each set, you get the Dare to Wear lacquer as well as the gel polish. These do retail for about $20. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the swatch and review. First up is a Mesmerize, and this is a very deep, deep berry pink. It does have a gorgeous shift to a gold or green. You can see it right around the edges there. It is a very strong and prominent shift. In all of these, they really did an awesome job. I'll go ahead and show you a brush shot, and that's an even better look at all of that metallic shift. And I'll show you how Mesmerize swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first easy coat. These are very smooth, very easy to work with. They are a little bit on the thinner side and this one was a little bit sheer here. I think across the board, these are gonna have some brush stroking issues. So you just wanna be mindful and make long, smooth strokes. I am capping the tip here at the first coat. I'll let that dry and come back in and show you how it builds up with a second coat. I did go in for a nice juicy second coat here, but this brings this one completely opaque. I had really great coverage with all of these in the first coat and the second coat really bumps it up and brings it just completely opaque, no problems. I did not cap the tip there, so I don't get that line towards the tip. Next, I'm gonna show you how the gel applies. So here's a look at that bottle. Again, gorgeous holographic packaging. Here's a look at that brush shot, and I'll show you how the gel mesmerized swatched on my natural nail. So here is that first easy coat. This one went on so smooth, so easy, very great coverage. It's not completely opaque. At some angles, I could still see a flash of nail line. I also had much less brush stroking issues in with all the gel formulas. So if you are a girl who loves gel or maybe doesn't mind gel, I really think that the gel formula of all of these has the better formula. So here's a quick look at that second coat. I did have to remind myself to go in nice and thin because this feels so much just like a normal polish. The second coat for sure brings it completely opaque. Here's a look at that completed mani. On my middle nail I have the gel and the rest is all the lacquer. There is a very small difference in color and maybe in texture as well. Here's a view from another angle in my artificial lighting to show off that shift so it is a very prominent gold shift. This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting and then once more at an angle again under that artificial lighting. So next up is Eternal, and this is a very deep crimson red that shifts to a gold or an orange shade. So I would say this is for sure a duochrome. I get mostly those two shifts. I'll go ahead and show you a brush shot, and I'll show you how the Dare to Wear Lacquer Eternal swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat. This brush just fanned out perfectly for this one. It went on nice and smooth, really easy, a little bit sheer, not too much. I did have some nail line going on. So I'll complete this coat, cap the tip, and then show you how it builds up with a second coat. So here's a look at that second coat. Again, you can see those brush strokes, so you wanna be mindful. Just make long, easy strokes, starting at the cuticle and working all the way down towards the tip. Two coats for sure brings this one nice and opaque. This was one of my favorites of the collection. Next, I'll give you a look at how the Eternal Gel Formula swatched on my nail. Again, just gorgeous packaging. I'll go ahead and show you that brush shot. And I'll show you how Eternal swatched on my natural nail using the gel formula. So here is that first coat, just really smooth. This one was so close to being a one coater. Again, I had to remind myself not to go too thick. I think if you did a nice thick coat with this, it would be completely opaque, but it would have some trouble drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this coat, show you what it looks like with a second. I wanna mention really quickly that I am using onto the next peel off base coat on my middle nail underneath all of my gel swatches to make removal easier. I can't really speak to wear time for these because I kind of swatched them and then moved through them, but I will link the cuticula onto the next base coat down in the description box. So here's a look at that second coat. Again, just absolutely opaque, no problems at all. I did find that if I applied the polish and gave it just a minute to mellow out before drying it, I had even less of those brush strokes. So I'm gonna dry it underneath my LED lamp. This is a look at that completed mini at two coats with the gel polish on my middle nail there. So pretty gorgeous match. I, I think the flakies or the shimmer is maybe just a little bit more fun in the gel formula. So here's a view from another angle underneath my artificial lighting. This is my swatch photo again under that artificial lighting. And then finally once more at an angle. 
So next up is Infinity, and this is a very bronzy gold shade that shifts to a green. This one probably has the softest and most subtle duochrome shift, but it is definitely there. It shifts from that gold to that green shade. Again, a really great formula. I'll go ahead and show you a brush shot, and I'll show you how Infinity swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at my first coat. I'm just going to go in nice and smooth and remind myself to go in a little bit thin. This one does cover really nicely. I had you know, the same brush stroke issues, but beyond that, nothing too bad going on. No flooding or pooling. It was a little bit sheer for me here, so I'll let this dry and then come back in and show you how it builds up with a second coat. So here's a look at that second coat. I am going in a little bit thick here with the second coat. I don't necessarily think that you need to. That's just how I enjoy applying my polish. This second coat brings this one completely opaque with no problems. Again, I'm not going to cap the tip here because I don't want that line right at the tip. So here's a look at the gel bottle. Again, gorgeous holographic packaging. I'll show you the brush shot and I'll show you how Infinity in the gel formula swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat. Again, I do have the On to the Next Peel Off Base Coat, but this had amazing coverage. I do prefer the gel formulas for these. They just go on a little bit more opaque with less brush strokes and the same gorgeous finish. One coat was really close to being completely opaque. I did have just a vague flash of nail lines. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it builds up with that second coat. I did cure my gel for about 30 to 40 seconds underneath my LED tiny lamp. So there's a look at that. Here's the completed mini. Again, gel on the middle nail with the Dare to Wear lacquer on my others. Really gorgeous, bright, warm finish. Here's a view from another angle underneath my artificial lighting. This is my swatch photo. Again, underneath that same artificial lighting. And then once more at an angle. So next up is Hypnotic, and I think this is going to be a fan favorite. It's definitely my top pick. So this is a very gorgeous teal to very bright blue shift. It does have some gold tones in there and red as well. I would really say that this is more of a multi-chrome than a duochrome. You get so much shift. Here's a look at that brush shot, and I'll show you how Hypnotic in the Dare to Wear lacquer swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat. This one does go on quite sheer. Same formula, a little bit on the thinner side, but really easy to work with. I'm going to go ahead and complete this first coat and cap the tip and show you how it builds up with a second coat. So here's a look at my second coat. I am going in a little bit thick here, but this builds up incredibly well on itself. Two coats for sure brings this one completely opaque. If you wanted to, I feel like you could do one coat over with any of these over black to get that same gorgeous shift, but two coats is pretty much the same amount of work anyway. So here's a look at how the gel polish looks in the bottle. Again, gorgeous packaging. I'm so happy with these. I really couldn't be happier. I'll go ahead and show you a brush shot and show you how Hypnotic in the gel formula swatch on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat again. This one goes on so smooth, so easy. A little bit less sheer here in the gel formula, but I can still see quite a bit of nail line. So I'll go ahead and complete this coat, cure it, and then show you how it builds up with a second. So here's a look at my second coat. I am just going in for a nice and normal, kind of on the thinner side of second coat, especially with this gel. I did notice that if I went too thick, I got wrinkles when I tried to cure it. So you really want to be mindful of that. Two coats for sure brings this one completely opaque. Here's a look at that completed mini underneath my artificial lighting. Again, gel on the middle nail. I think that these were really well matched in terms of color. The shift and the angle is really where this one is the most gorgeous. Here it is at an angle underneath my artificial lighting. And you can see how strong that shift is. It goes all the way to a purple. If you tilt your nail in different ways, you will get different colors. So here's a look at my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting. Teal is definitely the most prominent shade in this one. Here it is once more at an angle again under that same artificial lighting. So next up is Mystique, and this is another that's maybe a little bit more on the subtle side in terms of shift. This is a very bright royal blue, and it does shift to a purpley or maybe teal shade. There is some gold happening right around the edges, but it was really hard to translate to that to the nail. So here's a look at that brush shot, and I'll show you how Mystique swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat. Again, this one was pretty much the same as the others. It was a little bit on the thinner side, but still really easy to work with. One coat made for pretty good coverage. It's not completely opaque though, so I'll cap the tip. I'll let that dry and show you how it builds up with a second coat. So here's a look at that second coat. I'm going to make nice long strokes, and this does bring this one completely opaque. 
Next, I'll show you how the gel polish swatched. Here it is in the bottle with that blue holographic packaging. Here's a look at that brush shot, and I'll show you how Mystique swatched again on my natural nail using the onto the next peel off base coat. So here's a look at the first coat. This one went on amazing. I do again think that this had a much more opaque formula in the gel type. It's still not completely opaque. It was really, really close. I did kind of go in and make sure that coat was nice and thin. So I cured that, and then I'll show you how it builds up with that second coat. Again, completely opaque. I'm sorry to be so repetitive. I think these are really all two coaters, not even depending on the formula across the board. So here's a look at that completed mani. Again, gel on my middle nail and the Dare to Wear lacquer on the others. Here's a view from a different angle underneath my artificial lighting. So you can see there at the top, it maybe shifts to a deeper blue or a purple and then down to the bottom to a teal shade. This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting. And then once more at an angle again under that artificial lighting. So lastly today I have Paradox and I almost stuck this with the reds because the shift is just that intense. It starts out at a purple and then shifts to a red to orange to gold shade. It's a very beautiful shift here. I'll go ahead and show you a brush shot. And I'll show you how Paradox swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat. Again, just really easy to work with, a little bit thinner, some brush stroking going on, and a little bit sheer, but, but you know it's gonna build up really quickly with that second coat. So I'll go ahead and complete this one and cap the tip and show you how it builds up. I did have to redip my brush and kind of overestimated how much polish I needed. So my first coat here did get a little bit thick. I don't necessarily think that you need to. It didn't hurt it at all though. So here's a look at that second coat. It was really close to being completely opaque in that first one, but it for sure brings it completely opaque just like this. And plus it masks where I capped the tip towards the end. So next, really quickly, I'll show you how Paradox applied in the gel formula. Here's a quick look at that bottle. It does have that same beautiful red to gold holographic shift, even on the label. I'll show you the brush shot, and I'll show you how Paradox in the gel formula swatched on my natural nail. Again, I am using that onto the next peel off the base coat. Here is one easy coat of Paradox. Of all the polishes in this collection, I really feel like this one is the closest to being a one coater. I did go ahead and complete this coat, cure it, and show you what a second coat looks like just for the sake of swatching them all in two coats but I really feel like you could get away with a one here so here's a quick look at that second coat for sure no problems no issues it is completely opaque in two coats with pretty much no brush strokes here so here's a look at that completed mani again gel on my middle nail and the dare to wear lacquer on the others really gorgeous really great match here Here's a view from another angle underneath my artificial lighting. So you can get that red to gold shift there towards the top, super pretty. This is my swatch photo underneath artificial lighting. And then once more at an angle again under that artificial lighting. And that does wrap up today's swatch and review of the Metal X collection. I know this got a little bit long on me. If you'd like to see more photos, I do have those available on my blog at sloppyswatches.com. Or you can always follow me on Instagram at sloppyswatches. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to try to do some stamping nail art with these because I think they're going to look fabulous over black. And I'll see you guys next time.